supersonic. Supersonic. Everybody, yeah. Matt here from Round Square, and uh, just coming in with the uh, monthly drop preview for our uh, March 2023 product launch. And I got some interesting stuff uh, this month, and a few things I'm pretty excited about. Uh, I'm going to start off with uh, what I think is probably going to be the headliner, even though it's not like our our core kind of product range. But it's these guys here. It's the uh, we, we've been getting more and more into stationary products, and uh, finally able to launch our fountain pens. So I've been um, teasing these guys in various videos <coughs> and uh, even going back to the last couple of contests that we've run, we've, uh, you, you know, I've given some of these guys out as prizes. Uh, anyways, it's a, a project that's been in the works for a long time and uh, we don't have everything right now, but we've got the first two materials. So I want to introduce those. Um, I hope I've got a piece in each of the different colors. So starting off with acrylic and the acrylic is pretty awesome. It's super light. Uh, it's the same kind of stuff that we've been using for our acrylic uh, knuckle bones and the various beads that we've done recently. And we've got a few colors. There's like a, so there's an orange uh, swirl, this kind of teal, this uh, more maroon, dark red. We've got a, a deep purple, which is like, it almost looks black until you get it in the light and then it, you see the purple highlights. So this is pretty wicked. Um, then I thought we had, oh yeah, we got one more. And of course, yeah, here it is. Got this rad blue swirl as well, two shades of blue. Okay, uh, so we got that for the uh, acrylics and then we're also doing aluminum uh, straight off the bat. And we've got three colorways for the aluminum. We've got the beautiful red, uh, this kind of blue, slightly turquoise color and uh, black, okay. So a few things I want to share about these guys. So first of all is the size. Uh, many of you are familiar with our Chaos pens, the King of Scribble. So uh, this is a brass one here that I carry around a lot. Uh, they're designed to be the same length. So that's just kind of aesthetically nice and kind of comfortable. If you have them both in your pocket, they're the same length, nothing uh, jabbing out. Uh, the caps, never, like all of the, the threading stuff is different, but uh, you'll see also a diameter is different. But aesthetically, they're they're pretty similar. These guys have no set screw though. So I'm gonna tear this one apart and show you kind of how it all works. Um, basically, the uh, you've got the cap, then you've got the section and the body, and you've got the whole nib assembly. Now these are German-made Bach nibs. So Bach is one of the big uh, nib suppliers uh, used by a bunch of different brands, uh, and these ones. We ended up going, rather than going like straight blank, uh, we wanted to like, you know, have them Bach branded just so that everybody knows they're legit. And these come, the, the, the nib actually does like pull out like um, some nibs that other people may be familiar with. But this is a whole nib assembly that has like the feed built into it. So what that means is that you're getting everything pre-assembled, you know everything is gonna be fitting right and you're not gonna have to worry about the ink feed. Uh, anyway, so these guys just like slip in and you can swap them out. We've got uh, bold, fine and medium. And then, okay, then when uh, you wanna use a cartridge with these guys, I've got some Coeco cartridges here. It's got a little tip there. I'm just sharing this for people that are not really familiar with fountain pens too much, eh? So I like, when I'm putting in the cartridge, you have to use a fair bit of pressure. So I like to uh, put the cap on and then you can kind of put it solidly down on the desk or something there. Then you just push it down until it clicks. There's a little toothy thing in there that punctures the, the uh, spout here and then the, you can kind of squeeze the nib or squeeze the ink cartridge a couple times to get the ink kind of pushed into the feed and away you go. Or if you want to use uh, uh, bottled ink, uh, you can use one of these little uh, converters. This is the Kueco Mini converter. So it's a piston and it clicks down just the same way and uh, then you, you you pull the little plunger up, you, you dip it into the ink, pull the little plunger up, this uh, recess fills with ink and you're off to the races, All right? So you can't use like a standard converter. And the reason is uh, that I didn't want the pens to be so big and bulky. This is designed to be a pocket pen, uh, but it's also, uh, you know, unlike I think almost anything else that I've seen, it's designed so that in a pinch, you can actually write reasonably comfortably without posting the cap. So uh, it's 
it's roughly comparable to to uh, the Chaos Pen. That was one of the features of the Chaos Pen. I wanted it to be able to rest so that if you needed to just like take it out and jot something without uh, posting the cap, you can. Uh, these, it's a little bit shorter there, but it's still for most people, it's gonna be kind of fine. It's not like hanging out down here, right? And then for longer writing, of course, you, you will wanna post the cap. Uh, but it's got a nice wide body. I find this very comfortable. Uh, it's a little bit different from a, a lot of pens, but there are pens like that that have the the, the threading uh, down there. So it's, uh, I don't know, I think it's pretty unique uh, in terms of the different features, the size. I, I, I haven't seen anything else quite like this out there. And yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to finally launch it for all of you guys. And my go-tos uh, these days, I've, I, I took a couple of these guys and I swapped them out. So I've got one black, black and blue, one blue and black. Then I've got a couple of uh, acrylic ones that I've put into my rotation as well. So I've got different inks in all of them and I'm just having a lot of fun with them. Uh, I've also got a, a titanium one. The titanium and the other metals, uh, brass, copper, and stainless steel are in process, but they're all done with different suppliers. So uh, the parts should all be interchangeable. We've been been paying attention to that. But uh, yeah, uh, the, the timing of them is a little bit different. For, uh, so, so yeah, we've got five colors of acrylic, three of aluminum, and three nib sizes, uh, bold, medium, fine. And they're gonna ship with a, a little uh, set of cartridges. Uh, I don't know exactly how many yet, I haven't worked that out, but some cartridges to get you started. Uh, I tried to get a wholesale on the little converters to include them in the product line, but uh, Kaveco didn't want to, uh, to, to hook me up with that. So, cause, uh, cause I'm not selling Kaveco pens, so I can understand that. Anyways, uh, yeah, pumped about these guys. Uh, another thing, if you're new to fountain pens, uh, you know, be aware that it does take a little bit of maintenance. There is like uh, potentially, I haven't ever had issues with the, these like leaking in my pocket or anything, but if you're like flying on airplanes with changes in pressure uh, and that sort of thing, there's risk that the ink can leak out. They do need a little bit of maintenance compared to regular pens. If it's been sitting on the shelf for six months and you pull it out, it's probably not gonna write that well. And, and they're a little bit more temperamental as well. Like uh, you need to pay a bit of attention to the type of paper that you're using. Um, I mean, they'll write on standard like printer paper, but you get tend to get like, here's, here's a copy of the, the this month's uh, leaflet. And you can see like there's a little bit of bleed through there just with, with standard printer paper. That's why um, when we've done our notebooks, we've paid so much attention to the quality of the paper. And I, I talk about it and hype it up a lot, but you, you don't really notice it if you're just writing with a ballpoint pen, you're definitely gonna notice the quality of the paper in our notebooks uh, once you start writing with fountain pen. Uh, Cause it's, we've we've used like very fountain pen friendly uh, stuff that doesn't have like the feathering and the bleed through and that sort of thing that you would find on like cheaper printer paper. All right, okay, uh, running through cause I'm already taking up a bunch of time. Uh, we got a couple of new options for the Mini Sigma Ultras line. So we're restocking the black PVD uh, and we decided uh, to do this here as well. People are always asking about matte black uh, and that's uh, such a nice look. And we decided to do some sand blasted and then PVD coated. So this is, it looks almost like Cerakote, but it's not. Uh, it's PVD on top of a sand blast. And it's a little bit like lighter color, a little bit grayish. Uh, kind of that charcoal color. Uh, I think people are gonna love this. And if you've been kind of sleeping on these guys, uh, this might be a great time to pick up a set. We're gonna have these in the standard setup for uh, short form and uh, long form MK Ultras. Okay, so I don't know. Uh, the, the Mini Sigmas are just like probably my favorite bead for the MK Ultras. I, I really like them. I have a, a set of titanium ones that I carry around all the time with me. So, okay. Anyways, that's that. Moving along, a couple of other things. Uh, we finally got a batch of the Sunset PVD on our uh, Hydra Baglary that we are satisfied with. And you can see the colors in here are intense and they're all through that like green, purple, blue range. There's like almost no yellows, which uh, the yellow is nice when you get just a little bit of it, but, but too often the suppliers will, I don't know, they'll botch something in the PVD and you'll end up with like this kind of washed out light yellow with a little bit of like purple or something. Uh, we really didn't want that. And so, so yeah, I'm just turning this around so you can see the full color range. I'm pretty happy with these. So we're gonna do the, uh, the nightfall colorway and then just the straight sunset. That's in the standard Hydra Baglary, all right? Uh, on to uh, something I'm super pumped about, the Chef's Special. <laughs> so this is something I kind of uh, just came up with uh, very recently. And it was the idea of doing some like more unique, distinctive sets that maybe wouldn't end up being like a permanent part of our product range because 
like you can't do mix and match of every single type of bead and different flavors and stuff. But I know a lot of you guys like to try different things and I, I love trying new diff different new things and I, I love having something just like a little bit funky and unique to mix up my rotation. And I've been having so much fun. Like I just love the look of these sets with the 11.8 uh, and uh, eight millimeter beads together. Uh, they're they're super fun for for like flipping around and you you'll just find like they have just that much extra grip because the different sizes uh, fall into your fingers in different ways. Uh, they also are like kind of dope for bead counting because you you go bead by bead on the small ones and then you feel it's like ha ah, yeah you you get the big bead I don't know it's just it's like kind of extra kind of satisfaction uh, when you're doing the bead counting so I really like that and they just look they just look pretty cool too. I like how uh, how they look on the wrist, just like just a little bit more variety and a little bit funky. Huh? All right, so we got those guys with uh, they all have the titanium eight millimeter beads, uh, but they've got uh, we've got three options. We're doing tie with tie, tie with brass, and tie with copper, and they all you know they definitely all have their charm. Decided not to do tie with stainless steel just because it it looks the same as tie with uh, tie and. It, frankly, it wouldn't be that much cheaper because you still have a bunch of eight millimeter tie beads in there. So just decided to keep it this way. Uh, and we're doing with these guys kind of a matching Baglaria as well. They're not, they're not totally matching because instead of the eight millimeter beads, we're using 10 millimeter beads. But again, it's like uh, the 10 millimeter with the 11.8. So you do have that size difference. And I've been finding these uh, like really fun to flip around. They look pretty cool, especially if you if you've got them on that like uh, keychain hook hanging down like I like that look and the sizing and weighting of course you can mix it up you can put the heavy one at the end for a little bit of a like a, a ass heavy play if you excuse the language um, but but uh, yeah if, uh, I like it in the middle there uh, and then it's just like kind of manipulating the beads around it's like I don't know it they do they do uh, slide during play because I've got them on the thin cord here uh, we will ship them on on the 550 cord which is going to be kind of more familiar for most of you. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys are going to enjoy these. They, they come in like slightly heavier. I think this might, it's above 10 grams for the, uh, these guys and uh, like per end rather. And this is, uh, these guys are super light with the tie in the middle, but you know, for fast, quick, like easy, casual play, that's pretty fun. Yeah. So that's uh, Bugleri Chef Special, whatever. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this Chef Special thing going. I think every month probably, or or like pretty often, like the Luxax maybe, uh, where whenever I cook up something a little bit different, I'll try and share it with you guys. I've got some other ideas already, and I I'm really liking getting into the the patterning of different like colors and materials together. So expect more uh, in that in the coming uh, months. Especially when we get into like you know the Remishok checky, we've got so many colors and materials and stuff, so many options there. Uh, that is it. I'm just gonna run through my list here, and make sure. Oh yeah, pen cups. Uh, so this is like, you know, it's not not gonna be a money maker for us. We're gonna sell these for like five bucks probably. But uh, you know that I've never been a uh, clip guy. Those of you who've been following along, I like I like I'm a bit of a purist. Like I like the just the geometrical forms and like minimalist as possible, right? But you know, you have to admit that that uh, there is a place for clips in this world, and I'm pretty happy with how this design turned out. I kind of modeled it after the the snap-on clips for the Fisher Space pens, uh, the, their little bullet pen, but uh, it's a little bit like chunkier to kind of match the geometry of of uh, our pens, and they're just like they're they're low maintenance, low profile, and if you want to pull it off, I just like slip a piece of cord through there can pull it off. It is uh, likely to scratch your pen a little bit because they, they fit really tight. But I mean, these are pens that are designed for, to take a beating anyways, right? Uh, putting it on, you can either just like press it on like this, or if you want just a little bit more stability and less chance of scratching things, I put it down on a desk, give it a push. Oops, got too much stuff on my desk here. Put it on like that. And you see, it may not line up quite perfectly in there. Just use your thumbs, get it down, nice good snap. And then this is, this is on good okay anybody wondering if this is like a flimsy thing not at all right you can hear that snap here okay and uh these clips are all stainless steel uh we didn't bother trying to do different materials because stainless steel is frankly the best for this sort of thing and we're going to have them in a couple of different options uh we've got just like straight natty 
we're gonna have black and then we have also got black with the with the logo there I don't know if that'll show up but so those three options are the pen clips and last but not least this month we're doing a uh, Lux Sacks again so Lux Sacks for those of you who don't know it's a great way to get into uh, into the game or expand your collection we got different price points and I'll list like how many items you can expect in different price points but they'll have like a collection of different things depending on what price you go for and certain number of items you, some prices you can guarantee some titanium pieces uh, and it's just a good way like if you're kind of new to this and you want to beef up your collection and try some different things you're pretty much guaranteed to get a variety like we're not going to send you like five sets of the glary and nothing else uh, it'll be a variety like a mix of different things so you can kind of explore our product line okay so I think that's it for this uh, month, guys. So thanks everybody for the support, yeah, and yeah. I don't know if my face is even in the screen there. Hey, <laughs> take it easy. Yeah, episode six in which our villain gets high. Ease his whole family for dinner, then Christ. Wow. Episode seven set in triple X heaven. See my silhouette and figure juice a little sketch dry. The whole life plan is live and then die. And become a dark stain across the picturesque sky. Take aim.